own idea for tonight. Drink a bottle of wine and then upcycle it into a lasting memory. That's right. Donna Roy is the owner of Unwind Bottles. She's here to show us how and inspire us with some unique ideas. So it's Makeover Monday, but we're making over our wine bottles. We are. Mm -hmm. We are. <laughs> now, so when you drink that nice bottle of wine, don't throw it away because there's a lot that you can do with them. There is. And I was. I, this began with a fascination of the colors and shapes of wine bottles. And I felt guilty about throwing them away. So mm -hmm. I thought there must be something great to do with them. And, and something that you can do at home that's very, very simple and it will really elevate your drinking water is to filter your water and put it into just a plain beautiful bottle that's been cleaned uh, yep. so that that would be one thing and then of course bottled water tastes better than just water out of the tap that is so. true <laughs> you can also take a bottle and buy one of the little oil dispensers and fill it with olive oil I know many people buy olive oil in bulk these days so this mm -hmm. is a great um, substantial container it keeps in your your cupboard and that's a really easy thing to do. I'm doing it. I love this. It's very simple. Next and up, is that a stick of incense in that next one? It is, yeah. So as we get a little more complicated in skills, this is an incense smoking bottle. It is a way to burn incense that is safer, cleaner, and more productive. And it's decorative too, so that's a little bit of fun. Many, many people will go on vacation or they'll have a special bottle from an anniversary or a wedding or a celebration. So there are many, many things that you can do with a very special bottle of wine once it's empty. And I've had people who have brought me bottles with their name on it, with um, special, uh, well, that's nice. a special sentiment, like it might have been from their honeymoon. I like to take bottles and paint them because I think they make terrific night lights and you can put one almost anywhere. You can put it on a bar, you can put it on a sofa table, in your kitchen, on the counter, in the that's bathroom. such a good idea because a lot of these things, you, you toast you, a, a celebration or a memory, so you save it to always remember you of that right. milestone or whatever it may be in your life. Right. And, it, that. and it continues as a conversation piece. I mean, wine is all about having a glass of wine with friends and having conversation and good time. Exactly. So true. And so these continue that conversation. Now, as your skills get a little bit um, greater, you can take a bottle and cut it. And what I've done is I've cut this bottle and I've wrapped it with copper. And here's the bottom. So the top has become a luminaria which I put on a base with an electric candle, and the bottom is just an anything bowl. You could put peanuts or snacks or dip or candle or whatever you like in there. So I love out it. Of a just wine a, bottle out of a wine bottle. Out of a wine bottle. your recycling bin. Donna, right. It's so creative. Another item that, um, cool. as your skills increase, you could do is a bird feeder. Now, this includes a recycled or repurposed dinner plate or a sandwich plate. We've drilled two holes in the bottom. You fill with bird seed from the top. Just remove the cork. And this looks absolutely spectacular in the garden oh, is guaranteed bet. to to draw all your feathered friends. It's a really uh, fun item. And then for your fast feathered friends, this right. one's for hummingbird. For hummingbirds, right. So what I've done is wrap this with copper wire, suspended it from a chain, and then go to your pet store or um, a hardware store and get a hummingbird feeder tube. And you can fill that with nectar in your yard. And now we are going to make the final one that we're showing today, and this is a tiki torch. Right. So one of the things that I heard about uh, from folks in their backyard was that they wished their tiki torches with citronella oil in them were a little more portable. So what I've done is I have removed the labels and cleaned the bottles on two different wine bottles okay. for you for you to use today. And Ashley and I are going to try to make this. Yep. All right, Ash, come on over okay, here. Okay, I'll, see if I'll we can switch do this. places with you, Donna. Okay. So uh, first things first, I imagine you put whatever weighted element you want in the bottom of your bottles. Correct. Okay. So that could be uh, rocks, it could be marbles, it could be seashells, sand, whatever you like. And then you're going to need a package of Tiki replacement torch wicks. Okay. Uh, very simple. You can get those in a hardware store or any kind of a, a big box store. Right. <laughs> then go to your local plumbing right. department. And this is what is called a three-quarter by three-quarter straight coupling. It's made by PEX. You can pick this up again at a hardware store. And what you are going to do is to take the wick. The wick and the coupling. Right. And, and you're going to insert the wick through the bottom of the coupling. So okay. it looks like this, right? right? And you want to leave a little bit at the top. That's what you're going to burn. You want to leave it um, extending about three-eighths of an inch. Okay. So you can go ahead and you're going to insert the wick into the coupling. And then we want to affix it. And grab we have some tape to affix with. Is that right? Right. Grab a piece of Teflon tape. And this is just plumber's okay. tape. I'm gonna, oh, it's so plumber's tape. Okay. That right. being said, no messing around. We want to get uh, plumber's tape or Teflon tape. We don't want any other kind of tape. Right. And the tape, the purpose of the tape is to hold the wick in place, and as you burn uh, through the season, you just simply rotate and push the wick up. Oh, right. And it keeps the wick from falling down into the bottle as it gets shorter. And now we put it in our bottle. Right. Very simple. 
This is so simple. The next step is just to fill the bottle with your favorite citronella oil from any place that you buy it. I would fill the oil to about the shoulder. Mm -hmm. the, it just needs to touch the wick, let it absorb for 15 minutes, and then you can light the top and you have a portable tiki torch. And then when the night's over? Cap it with a copper cap and it keeps the rain off the wick. So many ideas. That's Thank you so, so much. That's so cool. Thank you, Donna. Goodbye, mosquitoes. And if you go to MyMassAppeal.com, we have a full supply list of everything you need to do this.